The only thing in our society that bothers me the most is the way that men and women don't get along no more. That's really what's bugging me about it. Men and women just don't get along. Like I hear women say this all the time. I know a lot of you sisters be like, chivalry is dead, don't you? Don't y'all feel that way? Like men aren't gentlemen anymore? That's right. Chivalry is dead and women killed it. There's a fundamental difference in the way we're gonna see things. We're not gonna see eye to eye on this issue. We're just not. Our tests in life are different. A woman's test in life is material. A man's test in life is a woman. <laughs> now by test, I mean that those are the things that we desire. Men have nice cars. Not because they like nice cars, because they know women like nice cars. That's how it goes. Because men are hunters. And the car is the bait. And the woman comes and says, ooh, nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> That's how it is. That's true. Come on now, you go to a woman's house, her house be comfortable as shit. Women love comfortable surroundings, so men get comfortable surroundings. But let me tell you something. If a man could fuck a woman in a cardboard box, he wouldn't buy a house. <laughs> but that's still not where chivalry got killed. Chivalry got killed by the feminist movement on the magazines that got women going crazy because women got too much advice about men from other women. <laughs> and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And it's true. I see this shit in the, ma in the magazines. I don't read them, but I be seeing the cover. I look at, I be in the grocery store, fellas, you look at one of the magazines, like, what is this? And they say on the cover, a hundred ways to please your man by some lady. <laughs> Get out of here, man, come on. Ain't no hundred ways, that list is four things long. Just suck his dick, play with his balls, and then fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much. And that's gonna be And then the magazines trick the women. The magazines start picking at your self-esteem. Every page you turn, you start feeling fatter and uglier, and you feel like your clothes aren't good enough. And the magazines have you forgetting how fucking beautiful you are. And that's what happens. Now look what happens. And then you forget how beautiful you are, and we all suffer. If pussy was a stock, it would be plummeting right now because you flooded the market with it. You're giving it away too easy. This is, I'm just being truthful. I'm just talking. It would plummet. You'd be watching the news today, pussy plummeted again on the NASDAQ. Gold is up 10 points. You can see it. You ever, you ever have this happen? This is how confusing it is. This, this is the practical application of what I'm talking about. Like a guy be out, this happened to a lot of guys. You be out at a club, bar, right? He's kicking with your boys, and, and a girl walks by, and, and man, she looks good. She looks good. Not good in that classical way. I mean, you know, I'm talking good. Like, she got half her ass hanging out her skirt. Mm. Her titties are all mashed together, <laughs> popping out the top of her turtleneck and shit. And you with your buddies, right? You with your buddies, you got a couple drinks in you, and you see a girl like this, you might try to talk to her, this might not come out right. I don't know what you say, but <laughs> damn, look at them titties! Right? <laughs> the girl gets mad and says, oh, uh-uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Just because I'm dressed this way does not make me a whore. Which is true. Gentlemen, that is true. Just because they dress a certain way doesn't mean they are a certain way. Don't ever forget it. 
But ladies, you must understand that that is fucking confusing. <laughs> Just is. Now that would be like me, Dave Chappelle the comedian, walking around the streets in a cop uniform. <laughs> Somebody might run up on me. Oh, thank God. Officer, help us. Come on, they're over here. Help us. I'm like, oh, just because I'm dressed this way does not make me a police officer. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, all right, lady, fine. Fine. You are not a whore. But you are wearing a whore's uniform. I'll tell you that shit right now. Little misunderstandings can happen. And then men, we misunderstand women a lot. You know, we, we always undermine their feelings. You can't do that to them. You can't, because, see, feelings are, you see how they're clapping? Feelings are very important to women. They are all important to women. I'm just learning this shit. Everything's based on how they feel. You can hear when they tell stories. You ever tell, hear a man tell a story, it'd be just facts. Who, what, when, where, why? It was me and Bob, we was at Safeway. Then that nigga Bob said this, then I punched that nigga, and then I broke out. That's the story. That's the story. Women tell stories, and all these feelings, and, well, first of all, you have to understand, I was on my period, and I just talked to my mother, so I was feeling like, God like, ah, damn, there's too many feelings. What the fuck happened? Get to it, get to it. But I gotta talk about them. You gotta talk about them. That's how they always get me. I'll be sitting there watching TV, chilling and shit. My old lady come up to me. David, we need to talk. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I don't say that out loud. That's how I feel inside. Because I know every time we need to talk, we need to talk about some shit that I gotta do. We don't ever have to talk about anything she needs to do. She leaves me defenseless. I have to do what I have to do. David, we need to talk. Nah. Don't do that to me, David. This is serious. Stop talking in that voice. No, see. <laughs> I gotta do this, see. No, see. I complain, but I'm happy I'm with somebody. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be single. I don't like That's the thing, there's so many stuff, there's so much stuff to worry about. You know, the more you know, the more you don't know and shit. You know, like a lot of people be telling me, Dave, you know, you just gotta relax. The racism thing be bugging you too much. And I be thinking about it. Sometimes shit'll happen. You know, a lot of black people can relate to this. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist that you didn't even get mad? You were just like, God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was so blatant. You were just like, wow. Like, almost like it didn't even happen to you. It was like a fucking movie. That was a, like you was watching Mississippi Burning. Wow. That happened to me. I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to the restaurant to order some food. And uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. I said, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I could not believe it. Could not believe that shit. This man was absolutely right. I said, how did he know? that I was going to get some chicken. I asked him, I said, how you know that? How did you know I was going to get some chicken? He looked at me like I was crazy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Now, everybody knew as soon as you walked through the goddamn door, you are going to get some chicken. It is no secret down here that blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. And then I finally understood what he was saying, and I got upset. I wasn't even mad. I was just upset. I wasn't ready to hear that shit. 
all these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. I said, like, why? I got no say in the man. I got ruined chicken for me. I'm scared to eat it in public. I don't I want somebody to see me and say something. You know what I mean? Like you be eating some chicken. Look at him. He loves it. Just like it said in the encyclopedia. Look how happy he looks. Sometimes you will be too much to deal with. That show business be crazy. That's where the cultures really collide. Show business bring a lot of races together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. This is one thing that happens that's funny. You know, sometimes I'll be on a business call, right? You know, like with a, with a lawyer or something. You know, my lawyers be white. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> they're like, we'll be on a call, right? And they'll be like, oh, okay, Dave, we're going we're gonna to close the deal. Is that fine with you? I'll be like, yeah, that's good for me. Great. Great. You have a good weekend, Dave. I'll be like, all right, you too, man. Peace. Oh, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> to say, right? So sometimes, like, sometimes I'll make up shit that's not even slang just to see how they handle it and shit. It'd be the same business go, all right, we're going to close the deal. Is that fine with you, Dave? Yeah, sounds good to me. Great. You have a good weekend, Dave. All right, buddy. Zip it up and zip it out. Oh. All right. Zip it do doo Bye-bye. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, sometimes raises a